In this video, we're working on a 2007 through 2013 Chevy Silverado. We're going to be replacing these power steering rack seals. They seal the power steering hoses to the steering rack. I'm going to remove these four bolts underneath. We need to remove the shield. Use a 15 millimeter socket. Take these out. Now remove the shield. Now we're going to remove this bolt right here. Use an eight millimeter socket. You might want to have a drain bucket underneath. When you take these lines off, you're going to lose some fluid. And pull that bolt out. Okay. Now just grab the lines. Just give them a wiggle. Then you can slide these out and you can drain the fluid in the bucket. Now we're going to take these seals out. Just use a pick or a screwdriver. Just try to get underneath here. Oh, it's bending it. Let's try a screwdriver. There we go. Using a screwdriver works a little better than a pick. Pull that one out. There's another one right here. Do the same for the bottom one. Just pull those out. I'm gonna take one of the seals and we'll slide it in the bottom. Get that lined up. And then I'm just gonna take an eight millimeter socket. Cause it's small enough or, you know, any socket that'll fit. And just line that up and just tap it in. You can tap it in with your hand. If you need to, you could use a hammer. Looks good right there. Now we're going to do the same on the other one. All right, that's lined up. Now we're going to line this up. I'm just taking a little bit of power steering fluid and just lubricating the ends. And line this up on the rack. And push that in. And take the bolt, get the bolt started. And snug that down. Now I'm going to torque this bolt to 106 inch pounds. Good. Now I take this cover, line this up, get the bolts started. Now tighten these up. Now we want to fill the power steering fluid, take the cap off. Just put a funnel in there and use the appropriate type of fluid. I take the funnel out you can check the fluid level and that's pretty close to the hot line so we'll put the cap on with the front wheels off the ground we're going to turn the steering wheel back and forth stop to stop with the engine not running about 10 times repeated that procedure we checked it again and the fluid levels right at the top here. 
which is good. We're going to start the vehicle and turn the wheel back and forth, stop to stop again with the wheels still up in the air. Shut it down and recheck it, and it should be close to in between the two lines where it was either cold or hot. So I removed some fluid, checking it again, and it's right about there, which is perfect. And just seal it up. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.